Uh, yeah, it's the uh, first self-release we've done full album. Uh, so that entailed us uh, producing it all ourselves. I produced it, engineered it. Um, we all were basically just the four of us. Where that's the first time that's really happened since Chroma. Um, well, we had five of us then, but just the four of us and our manager going through the songs, getting everything right, and then uh, tracking it and doing it. Um, so it's really like the most, I guess, uh, all-encompassing effort that we've put forth as a band. Um, with Chroma, we had label support, so it wasn't the same and, um, as this one because we funded it entirely ourselves. Um, nobody really knew we were even doing it, so it's uh, it's really cool to finally have it out and like. You know, every physical copy that we sell or you know that we get, it's just it's really cool to have it as your own because it, it just feels a little bit more satisfying mm -hmm. and fulfilling because it is totally ours. Besides the self-producing, what separates this album from the others? It's just it's a very free record um, in the sense that there was no label intervention, there was no intervention by outside forces on the writing. We're not trying to write for radio for the first time since Chroma. Um, it was just make a record that we would like and put a bunch of songs on it that we felt would best represent what we're trying to do. And I think just knowing that we had the freedom to do whatever we wanted allowed us to really embrace, again, what Cartel had always been about, which is just writing songs that we wanted to hear. Um, we're big music fans. We have tons of music in our you know iPods and everything else. So. It's always like, as an artist, you're always kind of searching. I think the creative drive is really you wanting to hear a song that you haven't heard yet, and so you got to make it. Um, and within the you know the construct of cartel and what uh, that means as far as musically goes, uh, we could go a lot of different ways and really get weird <laughs> with our music. So um, being able to kind of stretch those boundaries and like contain it and make it cartel was the most fun part about this record and I think that shows through on a lot of songs because like I said we just didn't have to worry about it it was like yeah that's cool or eh, let's make it cooler you know like we could just do whatever we wanted so um, I think that separates it from all our past records and I think that's why a lot of people are drawing comparisons with Chroma because Chroma was the the first full length and it was made under similar circumstances where we just wrote a bunch of songs had an idea for a record and did it, and then when it was done is when the label heard it. Mm -hmm. They're like, oh, okay, this is good, you know? Um, but this time didn't have a label, it was just impressing ourselves, so. Uh, I, I guess it was kind of the same sort of thing, and we just kind of captured the magic again. Hey, what's up? I'm Will from Cartel. Come follow us on Yappert. <laughs>